In this week's episode of Unwanted Food, the social enterprises put what they have learned from their experiments to use as they attempt to secure and fulfill orders from real clients. Many social entrepreneurs face this problem that they're very naive, they are fresh out of university, they want to do good, which is a great thing. But they lack the business experience, how things actually work in the real world. With cafes in the picture, there are more businesses buying the food that we have. So actually this means that we save more food and we can then create a greater environmental impact. So we are actually going to meet B3 later to close our first cafe deal. What we do is uh, our company, we aim to reduce food wastage in Singapore. Right? And how we do it is we take unsold inventory from our clients who are mainly importers and sell it to people who can use them at a discounted price. I think one of our main concerns is uh, for cafes, mainly they are more premium in terms of their pricing and the, and, and the perceived quality of their food. They might think that Three Dots products are not good enough. So I think it's a good thing that you guys came forward because uh, B3, we are looking into sustainability. So anyway, we'll get the ball rolling. So we'll start off by having one carton first, you know, and moving forward, maybe more. Yes, the meeting went really very well. And Chef Don is going to order one carton first for a trial. And we hope that, of course, in the future, if he accepts it, he order much more later. We're very excited for that. Meanwhile, the Ugly Food team are busy preparing for a large test order of juices for the staff pantry of a local education institute. We have a client who ordered 200 bottles of uh, fruit juices. Our hopes for this trial is for this new client. Hopefully, he will stick on with us for a period of time. That would be extremely useful for us. Uh. In the long run, it allows us to be more sustainable because it's a more reliable source of revenue. Now that the trial is, is on, we shall explore and see and uh, we'll be doing a survey to get the feedback and comments from the various staff who have tried it to see whether we'll be able to uh, work on a long-term uh, arrangement to provide for the staff in this school. So I just delivered the order for a trial run for the school side. I do hope that in the future, of course, the trial will be successful and they actually enjoy and like the product itself. I think some amount of pressure is definitely there. Uh, deals like these are of course hard to come by and if they do come by, then of course, naturally the company does grow with quite a reasonable amount. Today is the first day that we are supplying to Cafe B3. It's a new market segment that we are reaching out to. So, quite excited. So we delivered a range of fruits to B3. It's a high value kind of a, a fruit. We hope that in the end, this turns out to be a consistent order that they will get from us. With the days counting down to the final pitch, have the social enterprises learned enough to prove that their businesses should be one of the winners of the Young Social Entrepreneurs Programme? Find out on the next episode of Unwanted Food.